This video mini lesson will help you understand how to decode your assignment guidelines so you can plan, compose, and review your work while meeting all requirements. And remember, KSU students and alumni can work with writing assistance any day of the week. Visit our website, writingcenter.kennesaw.edu, to schedule an appointment today. First, print out a hard copy of your assignment guidelines as soon as your instructor makes them available. Printing a hard copy allows you to make physical marks and highlights, and it makes it easier to reference the guidelines as you plan, compose, and review your work. You may also want to create a checklist based on the guidelines. Many students find this helps them stay on track as they go through the writing process. Second, identify the basic parts of your assignment guidelines. Most instructors design most assignment guidelines to include most of the following components. An overview, which is a general description of the assignment. Tasks, which describe what you should do to complete the assignment. We'll discuss keywords for identifying tasks in a moment. Prompts, questions, or suggestions, which are usually intended to help you begin thinking about your topic. These are usually suggestions, not requirements, but you may want to check with your instructor to make sure. Look for language like questions to consider or consider the following. Research requirements, which specify the number of sources, type of sources, and citation style required. Formatting requirements, which include font size and style, line spacing, and page number or word number requirements. Due dates, which of course are critical. Note, you may have multiple due dates for drafts as well as the final copy if, for example, you're required to participate in peer review or teacher conferencing. Submission requirements, which specify how you're required to submit your work. Your instructor may require you to upload your work to a Dropbox on D2L, email it to your instructor, print it out and bring it to class, or submit it in some other way. Third, determine your tasks by identifying keywords. Informative keywords indicate that you need to demonstrate knowledge and understanding of a topic. Relational keywords indicate that you need to find connections or explain relationships among concepts. Interpretive keywords indicate that you need to demonstrate your educated opinion using evidence, often by supplying theories, principles, course concepts or readings, or research. Contact your instructor if you have questions or concerns. You have three options. If the due date is a long way off, you might choose to approach your instructor during his or her office hour or before or after your next class meeting. Generally, though, we recommend sending an email either through D2L or through your KSU student email. Check your course syllabus as many instructors specifically ask the students contact them on one platform or the other. Sometimes students feel intimidated by the prospect of contacting their instructors, and on the flip side, some students may be too comfortable addressing their instructors informally. Here's an email template you might use. Pause the video and take all the time you need to copy it down and, of course, adjust it as necessary to suit your situation. Once you've made sure you understand the assignment guidelines and you've begun working on a draft, keep the guidelines or checklist you've made handy and refer to them often as you write to make sure you stay on track. Once you've completed a full draft, review your work to make sure you've accomplished all the tasks set up by the informative, relational, and interpretive keywords, address prompts as appropriate, met all research requirements, and formatted your work correctly. Revise as necessary to ensure your work meets all requirements established on the assignment guidelines. So the next time you receive an assignment, print out a hard copy of the guidelines as soon as they're available, determine basic parts of the assignment, identify keywords and make sure you understand tasks, contact your instructor if you have questions or concerns, and once you've completed a draft, review your work to make sure you've met all expectations. Remember, OWLs, you can come to the KSU Writing Center at any point during the writing process for any assignment in any class. The KSU Writing Center, not because you can't write, but because you do.